Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday. So I think a goal I've realized, I feel like there's someone sitting in this car staring at me. Yep, there's someone sitting in that car. That's cool. Anyways, today, I just don't even know. That just distracted me so much. So I think I'm gonna start vlogging with my camera, obviously, because it's better quality. And just because like I like it better, and I have been going back and forth to my phone and my camera within the last couple weeks. And it's been such a pain in the ass to edit and get footage into iMovie and everything. And I don't know what it is, but on my phone, like all of my like clips will end up being like black when I try to import them into iMovie so I have to put them through my iMovie on my phone and then export them and then use them. So I think I'm gonna start doing that and we just got done at the gym and now we're gonna go into Cumbies. And now I have to try and maneuver myself with the camera. Nice. Hey guys so I haven't really vlogged anything this week because I haven't done anything too fun <laughs> or like entertaining besides trying to get my life together which is the usual. However, I wanted to talk to you guys about something because this might seem very stupid. I'm gonna put you guys down here. Oh my god, look, I'm a real vlogger with my camera. But anyway, I just wanted to briefly talk to you guys because when I was with my ex, he was friends with this guy. And he and I became friends because, you know, my ex and I were together. And he was really sweet and he was always like there for me and I was there for him and we would talk a lot and stuff like that. And it wasn't, you know, anything like, you know, there was nothing going on there. Although if I go back in time, I kind of wish that <laughs> I did, you know, end up going out with him. But, you know, he was, he had a girlfriend at the time, whatever. Anyways, basically he was a really nice guy. He was one of my really close, probably best friends. And after David and I ended up going out, we kind of lost touch and deleted his Facebook. I have a number. I don't know if it's his number or not. So I haven't tried it. I just did some background looking on Google and found that he was arrested last May. So yeah. And the reason why, you guys are probably wondering, well why the hell do you care all of a sudden now? It's been eight years. I haven't seen him, haven't heard from him, he hasn't tried to talk to me. And naturally you would think, oh well he liked you and you ended up going out with David so he probably was just like, okay I'll leave you alone or you and your ex broke up so he's not going to talk to you anymore. He gave me a lot of information after my ex and I broke up, which I'm not going to put on the vlog, but it was information that was very hurtful that I did confront my ex about and, and I never heard from my friend again, really. Um, so I don't know if he was, it was just like thing like, oh, well, he was friends with my ex. So it was like, oh, well, he's just not going to talk to me anymore because he was still friends with him, whatever. And I did not see him on social media for a very long time until one day I discovered that he deleted his account or his account was deleted. And ever since I did try to look for him and stuff. And uh, I also became friends with, uh, actually his girlfriend, my friend's girlfriend. And that was interesting <laughs> to say the least and then I stopped talking to her because she was just it was just a lot for both of us I think I think it just wasn't like the friendship just didn't work out to be honest nothing against her you know whatever she would tell me all these things that he would do to her and he was like oh he, she was like oh he was so mean to me and he said this blah blah and I just I kind of didn't believe her but maybe that also had something to do with him not talking to me and you know like I know this whole thing seems really weird and I don't know why I'm vlogging it but basically I kind of want to try and find my friend and I want to see if he's all right and you know me and Christina Christina knows him <laughs> and all my friends know him but I was talking to her about it I'm like we gotta find him like where did he go what happened and I just happened to search his name and found that he was arrested last May of 2017 so last May I have arrested 43 people as part of extensive warrant sweep and he was arrested for disorderly conduct. So I don't know. I don't know. That really upsets me because I know, I, obviously I don't know him anymore because, you know, it's been eight years and, you know, we're not teenagers anymore. But I like to believe the good in people and I know that he was a good person and he told me some things after my ex and I broke up that I don't think I ever would have known if he didn't tell me. I really did appreciate that so much. And I really appreciated him and our friendship and, you know, the talks that we would have about, like, life and stuff. Like, I really did love that. I loved the kind of sweet guy that he was. And I was always hoping and rooting for him to find a girl that, you know, was going to, like, take his breath away and be happy and everything. And, you know, at that time with his ex, now ex, you know, I thought, you know, he finally, you know, got that 
and stuff. Um, I'm not going to say too much personal stuff, but he was one of my really good friends. And something in me is telling me that I, I need to find him. I need to talk to him and just make sure he's alright. I have a feeling he's not alright because I see on there he was arrested. I don't know. I do miss him a lot. And I wish that he would have stayed in my life because he was one of those guys that was just really fun to be around. And I really did appreciate him so much. And I do miss him. So, I doubt he'll ever watch this, but if he ever did, you know, you know my number. Hopefully. If not, you will obviously find out my social medias, which are linked all down below this video. <laughs> I don't really know what else to say. I just feel like I gotta find him, and I gotta talk to him, and something in me. Like I said, like I said in my paranormal story time video, I do feel like in some ways I'm a, I'm a medium. And I don't want to say that I am, because I don't know if that's what it is, but I just get really strong feelings that, like, I have to talk to someone I have to make sure they're all right because I just have this overwhelming feeling and I've had it with quite a few people and now I'm having it about him and I, I did have it like before but I feel like he's he could possibly be in not a really good place and I don't know I don't know just something in my soul is like you have to find him and you gotta make sure he's all right even though he's not in my life anymore he was a big part of my life you know like he was one of my best friends I'd consider him one of my best friends and I wish we never lost touch and I wish that, you know, you know, I wish things were different. <sighs> I'm vlogging this because I don't know if he'll ever watch it. Probably not. I see what happened and I hope you're all right. And I really would like you to talk to me if you want to. And yeah, so again, this is, you know, we were never together. It wasn't like a relationship thing. He was just one of my really good friends and Christina could back me up on that. Like he was just, they called him Grizzly, Grizzly Bear, I think. He was like a bear, which was cute. <laughs> but I do hope he's all right. I guess that's it for now. And tomorrow I'm going to see Christina. I'm really excited about it. And we're going to vlog. And I don't know what else we're doing yet. <laughs> I'm going to see her new place, which I'm really excited about. And talk. Not literal stalking. Facebook stalking. <laughs> and yeah. So I guess I'll talk to you guys in the morning. Hopefully my camera doesn't die. But since Christina's a vlogger now, we're going to wait for her. She says she'd be here in less than 15 to probably like five minutes. We're gonna bomb rush her with the camera because I'm a vlogger now. <laughs> Today's gonna be an interesting day. I'm actually nervous, which Christina's probably gonna watch this, but I don't know, I'm just nervous. We haven't hung out in a really long time. It's the most flattering angle, but yeah. So, I got myself purdy. Cause that's me. And yeah, I don't think I put on makeup in like a couple days anyway. Three days. Three days. Ugh. Can you see yourself getting a pimple on camera? Me too. I have one great ear forming. Who, who am I kidding? I have a pimple all over my face. Yeah, Goodbye. Bye, have fun. Yep. And now, since my daughter now is a vlogger, we're gonna vlog her with the new camera! Oh my god! It's beautiful! <laughs> oh, I have to fix it. Hi, Grandma! Okay. Bye bye! Hold on, let me fix it over. There we go. <gasps> there we go. Stop it! Yeah. Ah! I love your hair! I love you! <laughs> Clara, where are you going? Oh, I forgot your car does this. Wow! It twerks. That's beautiful! I need that in my life. Yes, you do. I, I, I love it so that. much. Hi, Haro. How's well, life? Who's pregnant? <laughs> Me. Oh, God, please don't. I'm just kidding. Not yet, please. <laughs> Not yet, please. Not me. No. No, no. Hello, everyone. It is Thursday, and I haven't really vlogged anything since I did briefly with Christina yesterday. I was going to vlog last night at the gym, and I just did not do it, but yeah. So, some exciting things that are going on right now. Well, somewhat exciting, besides the fact that Valentine's Day is coming, and y'all know I love Valentine's Day. I don't care if I'm taken or single. Pringle. <laughs> I love Valentine's Day. I love that it's like such a girly holiday. I'm a girly girl, for the most part. So... It just makes sense that I love Valentine's Day, and especially since it's like my favorite color, pink, duh. And basically it's kind of how my wedding's going to be, because our wedding colors are pink and red, which sneak peek. <laughs> David and I are going to start, well actually not really David and I, mostly me, my mom, Ween, Danielle, 
are gonna start doing some bouquet stuff i know what i want my bouquets to look like i know what i want like the guys like i forgot what the flower is called that proper term i know this is disgusting this is my pillow i've had since i was a baby and i'm not getting rid of it so fuck you that i don't like it <laughs> i just also wanted to say to thank you guys for like showing love on my vlog my last vlog i'm gonna try and just vlog with my camera because my phone is just a pain but in some instances where like i'm in public it's just a lot easier to take out my phone than to take out like this big camera and everyone being like oh my god what is that girl doing because for those of you that are new here i do live in connecticut and i feel like vlogging and stuff is like still very like taboo ish compared to like bigger cities like new york or like la especially where all the youtubers live so I feel a little odd, but at the same time, it's my life, I'm gonna vlog it, so there's that. <sighs> and I've been studying for my permit all week, and I've been getting better and better and better. I have downloaded this app, I'm gonna show you guys. Oh, it's actually that little blue one next to my Netflix app right there that I really like a lot, and I think it's really good for studying. There's also some other apps, because the one that I was originally using, it doesn't work for iOS 11. How convenient, right? Very convenient. And also, my phone has been lagging so badly. I have the iPhone 7 Plus, in case y'all didn't know. And I I just, I hate that Apple does this. Every time a new phone comes out, like, it just slows down all the older models. Like, excuse me, I wasn't asking for that. I'm also binge-watching Elena the Plugs vlogs, because I love Elena. And I've done some laundry. I've done some studying. I've done some cleaning. I packed for David's. Um, worked on my resume a little bit because I'm trying to perfect that so I can go back into the interviewing and job world <laughs> a lot stronger. <laughs> so there's that too. And then uh, I ate some salad for lunch. Oh, I'm so jealous. My sister and her friend went to Burger King for lunch and I'm just like, oh. And not that I'm really depriving myself of the food that I want because I'm trying to like, you know, be in shape and stuff for my wedding. I'm trying to get back into strength training and everything, which has been going really good, actually. I'm not really like strict on it yet, but, and it's just been really annoying because I want like Burger King really badly right now. And I was like, Wayne, can you bring some home for me? And she's like, I'm not coming straight home. And I'm like, cannot, I really cannot. And I have to edit videos later. I want to edit a vlog. I don't know if that's going to happen though. I'm just kind of chilling right now, but that's pretty much everything going on today. I feel like my life's really boring right now because I'm not like doing much. Oh my God. Like you're so entitled. This weekend's going to be pretty busy. I'm with David till Monday. We're going to do some more wedding stuff. We're going to do, um, probably go back to the mall or go back to my, or go to my mall and find some uh, clothes for David and his groomsmen to wear because I trusted them to both go shopping last week and they only came back with dress shirts. So that's a problem for me considering like I'm all set. My bridesmaids are all set. My mom's all set with like clothes and everything. Well, our dresses and uh, yeah. And I really love this camera. Did I mention that? By the way, my nose has been red ever since I changed my nose ring. Like there's no, I feel like cause there's no room in between like the stud and like my skin. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to pick that up on camera. It's not gonna focus on it. Yeah, you guys can see it's like, if I pull this out a little bit, it's all red. It hasn't done this in a very long time. Very annoying. I've had my nose pierced for about almost four years now and it still fucking does that once in a great while usually if when i right when i put a new stud in and then it'll get used to it and then it'll be completely fine and i don't have any problems but this has just been red for like a month so i might change it out and go back to the one i was using before or put in one of the opal ones i got from hot topic because it's really pretty so danielle and i are gonna try and get tickets to go see britney spears this summer I've never seen her in concert. She literally was my first ever, uh, when I was seven years old, her Baby One More Time CD was the first CD I ever got, number one. And number two, she's just, like, it. Like, I love her so much. I almost actually got to go see her when she did her Onyx Hotel tour. My parents really tried to get tickets, but then she canceled it because she got her, obviously, if you guys know about that, from, like, two th 2004. So, that was just so great, like, so great. I've never seen her. I missed like the last two opportunities when she went on tour for Circus and Femme Fatale. I believe she went on tour for too. I could be wrong. And I really want to see her. I really want to see her. I really want to see her, you guys. So Danielle and I are going to try our hardest to get tickets this weekend. Or she's going to try her hardest to get them because she's better at that shit than I am. The only problem is obviously the closer to the stage, the more expensive the tickets. And right now there's a pre-sale. She didn't know about the pre-sale. But apparently you have to join Britney's like 
tour club thing you guys probably know about this if you've already done this or whatever and it kind of reminds me of like what taylor swift did for tickets for her tour you have to buy merch or something in order to get this access code so that you could use it in the pre-sale and get like this like special like deal of like vip or some crap i don't know and i was just like are you fucking serious right now because the ticket price is you guys the most expensive like 500 a piece 500 a piece are you on one right now i mean yes she's britney fucking spears but so we're waiting until tomorrow to uh, see what the prices are and the thing is i cannot be up high I cannot be it's not I don't care how far away I am honestly I really don't as long as I see her I'm I'm a happy little duck quack but the way that Mohegan Sun Arena is for concerts like oh my god like it's so steep so steep even though Danielle and I have been on the lower level the past couple times when we saw Halsey it was so like oh my god like you would freak the fuck out and I think a lot of people have talked about that too not just for concerts but like football games and stuff like that it being so steep it feels like you're gonna fall and die yeah yeah if you're afraid of heights like me and if really horrible anxiety like me it's not fun so we're trying to get lower level tickets we're gonna see if that happens I don't want floor seats I don't really care to have floor seats to be honest but I really would love to have lower level seats or like seats like we had for Halsey. So we'll see what happens with that. Valentine's Day is coming. I don't know what David and I are doing. I'm a really long part of the vlog, but I feel like I haven't done much this week. I'm just kind of <sighs> got to get it together. Got to get it together. It's less than five months to the wedding, you guys. Less than five months. Can we do this? Can we do this? Can I get my permit? Can I get my license? Can I get a real job? <laughs> Mainly, can I get a job? We will see. Practice with my permit. Keep doing stuff for the wedding. I had more than that. Oh, keep selling on Poshmark. I've been doing very well on there. So if you guys want to, uh, again, go and check out my closet. I will leave it down below. I also have an Instagram just for my Poshmark. That will be down below as well, along with my code. Oh my God, SamX3, you get $5 credit when you join Poshmark to use on anything that you buy from Poshmark. You get it. You don't have to use it. I'm not paid. It's just kind of like affiliate code thing I guess I have because I'm on Poshmark whatever so if you want to use it that's great if you don't then that's fine too and if you do check out my closet thank you very much I do appreciate it so yeah I got a lot of things going on and I'm not saying oh my god re resolutions I have all these resolutions no I got a lot of things that I want to do and I'm doing them to the best of my ability so we're gonna keep going keep trucking on and I will see you guys later on this week good afternoon everyone happy friday so today is the usual part of the weekend where david comes and gets me and i'm watching lena on my tv i'm really obsessed with her i actually you guys y'all might yell at me but i'm so excited i ended up buying a couple lena the plug sticker packs i got her one with adam and i got hers and i'm really excited because i want to put one on like a phone case and i want to put some on my macbook and i'm just really really excited because i have tana's sticker from her wildflower phone case Ugh, this has to get closed and i had some oatmeal this morning looks like puke i promise it's not it's actually pretty decent and fills me up so i don't feel like bleh, i'm dying and right now i am trying to muster the strength to put away all these clothes because i personally really don't want to do it and i also want that furry phone case she has like i don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it oh you can do it by that cool you see it that phone case i want that phone case like i want that phone case so badly but it's just gonna be on my wish list for now but considering tomorrow i am getting my third learner's permit hopefully i have to study more tonight i'm really nervous about it honestly because you know like the last permit i had i got in 2015 so it's been a while and i feel like things probably have changed probably not my much though but yeah so here's also my outfit of the this is very bad lighting hello this way this is my outfit of the day. I'm wearing these maroon, I have disgusting garbage as usual. These maroon leggings are from Aeropostal. This shirt's from Victoria's Secret. I love it because it's like my aesthetic hello. The bra underneath is from Victoria's Secret as well. And I'm going to be wearing those little fake Converse shoes. Hair scrunchie. I've been really loving scrunchies. Not just because of Lena. Partially because of Lena. But I actually really think they're a lot better for your hair they don't leave your hair as damaged and I curled my hair kind of ish it's like wavy a little bit a little bit a little bit I love that my hair looks more brown now than like 
brown blonde because I was looking at my picture for my permit, well, not my permit, my ID, my state ID, and it's like you could see the blonde and I'm like, mm, yeah, so. Ween is actually also, hi Weenie. I'm on the fuck, I'm getting dressed, I have no pants on. Tell that to the viewers. I'm not going to, Weenie. Yeah, Weenie's getting dressed, otherwise I'd show you her, but she just like took apart her bed because her bed's broken. Second bed she's broken. Uh. And I really love this lip color. This is by Soap and Glory. It's called, it's a Sexy Mother Pucker lipstick that was on clearance from Target. And it's called, I think I have it in here still. Not that one. I forgot what it's called. Uh, Charisse Police. I don't know if it'll focus on it. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see the name of it, but it was $3, and I actually got one that somebody ruined, so I had to, like, cut off half the lipstick, which is kind of annoying, but since I only paid 3 bucks for it, I'm not that upset about it. Same with this one. What? It's fucking hack. Do you want to say hello to the vlog? It's on the fucking hack. It's what? It's fucking hot. It's what? It's fucking hot. <laughs> Shit. It's fucking hot. It's hot in here. Like our fat bodies create so much heat. It's like Actually, radiating. David and Nathaniel create a lot of heat with their bodies as well, which is really annoying. Something I never told you guys. Because they're men. Yeah, I know. Every time David's here or Nate, Nate's worse. Because Nate's full of hot air. <laughs> He's worse. I'm sorry, Nathaniel. But literally, like, we were just sitting in here, and, like, it's getting hotter and hotter and hotter. And my mom's like, do you want me to turn the heat on? And I'm like, no, I think we're all right. Like, I'm completely fine. Usually I'm cold and I'm bundled up. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Oh, there you go. I totally understood where you were coming from. How do you feel? Uh, hot. <laughs> uh, hot. I'm trying to get used to this camera, too, so. You know why? Fucking David's hairy, so he creates his own heat. Nate's full of hot air. We're just fat and sweaty. True. Very oh. true. Goodbye, Weenie. I tripped on that. Oh. You need to fix that. That was not appropriate. I'm not appropriate to begin with, so it's fine. So I'm just waiting for David now to get me, and I'm going to go to the bathroom, and I took some Instagram pictures. So hopefully those are up if you want to check it out, this look. I'm using a new, oh, I hate my brow hairs. I'm using a new brow pencil that I have. It's called from Model Launcher. I got it in a blessed box that Danielle got me, and I really like it, but the color's a little off. Hello, everyone. Happy Saturday. Here's butt butt. It's good. What is that? Oh, wait, I can zoom in on it. Ready? Is it going to do it? There you go. There we go. <laughs> Today is Saturday, obviously, and I am proud to say I've achieved my third learner's permit and my permit picture looks terrible no it doesn't it does can you please not kill us uh could you behave people. ow those people literally right there if i didn't do that they would i know there's like people everywhere it's like we're gonna get killed here you wonder why i didn't want to drive after i got my permit like do you wonder why that is why yeah, huh i know maybe i'll drive tomorrow okay how about that drive to the gym and shit. There's a car coming this way. But yeah, so I have gotten my, I have gotten, oh my God. I got my third learner's permit and I'm very happy about it. I got four wrong. The most you can get wrong is five, so. And honestly, they were like questions that I really didn't think I would get wrong at all. And then like the other ones that I thought I'd get wrong, I got right, so. But I'm really, really happy. And the thing is weird this time though is that usually, at least the last couple times I've gotten like my permits and stuff like that, or my state ID, they would print it out right there so you have your ID or you have your permit or license, whatever. Now they're doing like a temporary thing. So I have a temporary permit right now until I get mine in the mail, which is weird. A lot of states probably do that. I'm guessing it's like budget cuts and stuff like that maybe. What do you think, babe? I think it's just unique. That too. That too. So now we are going to go Barnes & Noble. I guess. And that's my dad calls. Barnes & Noble. I'm going to stop at Ulta because I do need my Mario Badescu spray, but I'm not going to buy anything. No, I really am going to try, honey. We can't. I'm on a no spend. I'm on a no spend. We can do this. We can do this. Except when I want to vlog in public, I can't. Well, I feel like I can't because I have a camera now and I feel like it's more noticeable but 
I don't know, we'll see. But I will say though, for the record, when I do go for my license test, I'm gonna take Butt Butt's car because I like driving his car more so over my mom's and it's smaller and it doesn't have any of like the um, apparent, Jesus, David. Pick a fucking lane. I was gonna move over. Oh my God. He's like going like this between the lanes. How you're not supposed to drive, kids. How you're not supposed to fucking drive. Yeah, don't take out the me. But yeah, and your car doesn't have the, uh, apparently when you have like, you know when you back up and hear the beeping or like the back camera or whatever? If you have that, you have to shut it off during the test. Which I don't know how the fuck you would do that, and yours doesn't have it either of that, so. I'm gonna take Papa's car. And we're gonna have to look into a eight hour course for me to take so I can go get my license. They'll probably show you how to turn it off. Mm. Do that or they'll just block the screen. Yeah, they'll probably do that, honestly. But like with my mom's, it's like you would automatically hear it. So there's that too, but yeah, we're gonna head over near the mall. Oh, my mom went to the cemetery today to see my dad. My stepdad. In case you guys are confused, my dad was actually cremated. Was, I think I've talked about it before. He was cremated and as far as I know, he's supposed to go back to Jersey and be buried on top of my grandpa or my grandma. I don't know which one it was. My family watching this will know, but apparently my sister hasn't done that, so. Fun, so fun. But I'm not gonna get into that because I feel like I talk about my dad a lot lately and I'm really sorry about that. I feel like it's quite annoying. But I mean, it's a big thing that's happened in my life that, you know, obviously goes real when you have a plus phone. You have to use your nose to text anyway. I just feel like it's a little bit annoying, but then again, it's an important thing that's happened in my life that I'm still dealing with. So, you know, there's that. And speaking of, yesterday was actually 11 years since my stepdad passed away from liver cancer. So that was kind of, annoying but I feel I'm gonna cry again <laughs> I'm an emotional wreck I talked to David talked about that in our story time video which thank you guys so much for all the love on I really do appreciate it <laughs> I was actually a little bit nervous every time I do a video with someone or I do a video that's like risky on my channel I feel like because I've done a lot of beauty stuff and I'm trying to like branch out and just be myself now and just brand myself as me so my channel name actually might be changing I know I know a lot of y'all probably like why why are you gonna do that but I feel like it's kind of a smart decision to make like not really business wise because I'm not really a business yet <laughs> yet but more so of like you know because I don't just do beauty videos anymore I do like everything kind of and I have vlogs and I have a vlog channel so that might be changing. I don't know when I'm gonna change the banners, but I really love my banners, so <sighs> it's gonna be a little annoying. Mm, 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 mm. I wish I could have someone fancy do my ba banners. If you're someone fancy that would like to design me a banner, I will give you a shout out forever on my end screen and everywhere on my social medias. I don't really have a lot of money, but I will shout you out and shout out your channel and shout out your business or whatever it is. Sponsor me. <laughs> Honestly, unnecessary. If you'd like to, you can. If not, then it's totally fine. But I just, I like my banners. And I would love to do something play on that. I don't know. This year, I feel like, is the year not only that David and I get married and, like, I experience life, but I would like to also, like, 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 get into more of, like, the businessy aspect things of what I want to do. Like, I've been selling a lot more, reselling, and my YouTube channels, obviously. And I want to just take as many opportunities as I can this year and not feel like, you know, and not be scared to basically because I've gotten a lot of offers on my channel before to like review products or become part of networks, which I don't really want to be a part of a network unless it's like a trusted one that's like not going to fuck over the creator because I've heard a lot of horror stories about some like just like totally fucking over the creator that they work with and stealing all their money, a whole bunch of shit. So there's that, but... I don't know, I feel like this is the year for me, the year that I'm gonna see where everything goes. And this is just a long, rambly part of the vlog, but I feel like it's kind of important for me to like talk to you guys about this stuff because it's going on in my life, and yeah. And here's Butt Butt again. My cute butt. You guys probably are wondering why we call each other butt and stuff like that, which we never talk. I feel like we left a lot of things out in the video that I wanted to talk about, but I just didn't think off the top of my head because we were both very awkward and nervous. And I've discovered I'm nervous no matter who I film with, whether it's David, Danielle, Christina, Nate, 
I have not done a video with Alba yet. Alba, you're next. We have to do something. <laughs> and I think I need to do another video with Danielle and Ween. So, if you guys have any ideas, let me know down below. Because it's not just about me, Sam Beauty XO anymore. It's going to be like probably Samantha Regina. I seen you just zoom in. Rude, absolutely rude. 